right, everyone, welcome to the 35th Rondo Days Annual Parade. Welcome you all to this bright, sunny day. And let's see, who's our host today? Well, this is Bernard Foster, and to my immediate right is... Well, I'm Birch. And Stanley Freelix. And I'm beyond Braddock Birch. I'm your roving reporter. Happy 35th Rondo Day Parade. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this thing started. It is a beautiful day today. It's in the mid-70s right now. You couldn't ask for a better day, right, gentlemen? Yes, of course. It's a nice, beautiful breezy, weather. clear, sunny day. Yep. And we can enjoy the parade, and then we can join everybody down at the festival, and it's going to be a very fantastic day for everybody. And our first participants in the parade coming down is the scout troop. I believe that's Scout Troop number 56 from Pilgrim Baptist Church. And they're going to bring on our colors today. So we hope everybody here has this wonderful, have just a fantastic day, everybody. And they will be followed by the mayor's office. And today's grand marshals are Wayne Crow and Melvin Carter. The scouts now, were either you two gentlemen in the scouts? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. I was. I was in the Cub Scouts. I'm, I'm, I was in it for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you were in it. Uh-oh. Starting to do a little dance out there. I'm glad the weather. I really appreciate this weather. I'm glad to cooperate. Thank you. Last year it was so hot out here. We were we were melting up here even mm -hmm. under this umbrella. But couldn't ask, like I said, a better day today. Right. We shouldn't have any issues with heat stroke or anything today. All right, here comes the escort for the Grand Marshals and the Mayor's Office. This is Mr. Carter's first term as our incumbent mayor of the lovely city of St. Paul, Minnesota. We all wish him well in his endeavors. Yeah, of course. He's doing a great job so far. Let's just hope he can continue in his good deeds. Got yeah, the scout master there now. She has an umbrella. It's a good move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they gotta keep shielded from the sun. Make sure they youth leave the youth. All right, they're gonna pass off some candy to the children. Oh no, he just stopped okay. and greeting yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> they must know each other. Yeah, <laughs> Benny Williams, he knows that. All right, gentlemen. Do you have any good fun facts to talk about? Don't all speak at once. You know, we could we could, we could, we could do this. Okay. We're gonna do this. All right. All right. All right. All right, Benny. You're holding up the uh, the show there. All right, Mayor Melvin Carter, ladies and gentlemen. And the other Grand Marshal, Mr. Wayne Vernon Crow. Yeah, Vernon, he's a, one of our black business owners up here in Selby. He has a Selby Wine and Spirits up on Selby Avenue. You can meet all your libation needs up there if you need anything. He can cater your parties, and he has a great wine selection up there. Selby Wine and Spirits, Wayne Crow. All right, we got okay, the Ranch County Sheriff's Department coming by us now. Hey, hey, hey. Excuse me. I'd like to go on a horse ride this afternoon. Uh, maybe we can, right. uh, maybe we can uh, talk them off the horse. They got some beautiful horses out there. I'd like to mount one of those steeds myself and take a little ride. 
Maybe not through these city streets, but <laughs> they look great. The horse. Yeah, that wouldn't be too comfortable. No, not at all. Yeah. No. Have to go through the park. <laughs> right, right. Take a shortcut. <laughs> right. And there's part of St. Paul's finest, St. Paul Ramsey County Sheriff Department and their mounted police. Take it away, Vion. Welcome to the Rondell Day Parade. And today I have someone that seems to come almost every year and I interview them. Tell me your name. This is Sullivan and I'm Jake. And Jake, what brings you to Rondell every year? Every single year, it's like Christmas in the summer for me. I just cannot miss it. It's a lot of fun, and the community is outstanding. Well, that's a good thing to hear. And then you're enjoying the horses? There go the horses. Well, thanks, and I'll see you next year. And, and yes, exactly. Now is John Thank Choi, you, Vion. your Ramsey County attorney. Followed by Central High School Tiny House. St. Peter Claver. Catholic Church. Yeah, they've been they established in 1892 to present. Actually, St. Peter Claver School is having a off school reunion for all the people who did go to that school next year, I believe. They should have something out online, on social media and Facebook pretty soon. But they're looking for all old classmates St. Peter Claver from the early mid-50s up until present day. Yeah, so, excellent church and an awesome fine school. That should be a pretty interesting uh, function. Now up next, this is, looks like uh, from a councilwoman, Deborah Montgomery. Mary McPhee coming up. <laughs> That's Deb Montgomery. All right. Deb Montgomery throwing candy out to the children. Yeah, she's a multi-term. Uh, City Council President representing this ward here. It's always good to see her out and about. Yeah, making it interesting for the kids. They're reaching for that candy like it's gold. Well, actually, she's representing the St. Paul Central, the, the Central Tiny, the tiny house? house. Tiny House. Yeah, the Health Partners Group, they've been a staple in the, in the parade since day one. We can meet all your health needs. Minor and major. That's health partners. Exactly. In Regents Hospital. <laughs> Coming up next is the St. Paul Public Library bookmobile. Get your read on. Decorated in bright orange and aqua. The St. Paul Bookmobile. Now, the Bookmobile's been around since the 60s. Yes, it has. I remember they used to drive through the neighborhood back mm -hmm. when I was in. Stop at the public wow. school so you can get your read on. Sixth grade. You get a little break from class, regular class. You go out to the Bookmobile. Well, you know, back in the sure day, you, you had to take a bus downtown to the public library, the main one. At work. Right. And then they finally built one up here at the Central Library up on Lexington. And university. Go ahead, Vion. To the Rondell Day Parade. It is a lovely day. People have come on out, and right now I have Joseph. And he comes to the Rondell Day Parade today because I like the parade. And, uh, I just like to see a lot of black people coming together. You know. So you're gonna have a good day today. I'm loving your hair. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Vian. 
Yeah, he, he did have quite the uh, dreads, didn't he? Yeah, he had a great hairdo. I know you appreciate it, yeah. And once again, there's the bookmobile. And bringing up behind the bookmobile is Keith Ellison's group. At the Cameo the Social Cameo Club. Social oh, Club. I'm sorry. <laughs> now, the Cameo Social Club has been around since the early 50s. You know, they, they have a lot of functions. They used to have bowling tournaments and stuff like that back in the day, but, you know, a lot of their members have passed on, but some of the members' children have kept it alive, which is, a, you know, tribute to themselves for doing that. The Cameo Social Club. Fine tradition here in St. Paul. And there's Tony Williams. He's one of the leaders of the Cameo Social Club now. His, his mother was one of the founders of that club back in the day. Cameo Social Club. And we have M. Dodd. They are the people that keep your streets clean and your freeways clear during our inclement weather. And we had a lot of that this year. Yeah, they plow for everyone. So we gotta be thankful for that group. We get quite a bit of snow in Minnesota. I know that's not a major news fact, but. I wish they would plow my alley, but you know, that's another thing. <laughs> M dot, we plow for everyone. Here we come with Keith Ellison's campaign. <laughs> really? Yeah, I see it. Keith Ellison. Well, that's going to be an amazing race and see how it comes out. Uh, you know, he resigned as a rep because he felt he could do more for Minnesota as the attorney general. So we'll see how well he does in that campaign. Yeah, Keith Ellison, make sure everyone counts and everybody matters. Keith Ellison. So get out and vote. Let your vote be heard. Democratic Party voting in here behind Keith Ellison. All right, Mad Dads. And right behind that is Tina Smith. Oh, we got the whole DFL yeah, we got the whole DFL behind there. Oh, right. okay. Take, Take it away. Take, Take it away, Vian. Thank you. The kids. The kids are the best. Today I have Jerome and Milani, Savannah. And they came to Rondo today because it's a beautiful day, but one thing they like about Rondo is candy. Get in candy. It's fun. I'm seeing the half part. And this is her first time. I like it. She likes it. So they're going to have a good day today. Thank you. Thank you, Vian. All right. Thank you. Behind Mad Dads, we have the whole district. Was it Senate District 65 BFL? Plus Senator seven, Tina seven. Smith, Amy Klobuchar. Matt Pelican. Oh, they're really uh Aaron Murphy, they're well represented today. <laughs> yeah, Aaron Murphy of Minnesota. Looks like he's well represented. And there's the signs that they have in their hands, folks. Register, are you registered to vote? Get out there and make, make your difference. voice heard. You know, last year we had a registration. Last year we had voter sign up here at the Sterling Club. And this year Sterling Club will be celebrating its 100th year. And uh, hopefully we'll have it set up again for people to come down here and 
register to vote. Everybody yeah, to get needs there. to get out and vote. We will have a registration here at the Sterling Club this year, so get out and sign up and vote. Make your voice heard right here at the Sterling Club. Vote, vote, vote. Let, let the Sterling Club celebrate 100 years by registering many people to vote this year. They're all representing themselves right now, so you can't dodge this vote. You got to be part of this. And, and another this representative from our representative from 67A, Ms. Rena Moran. Followed by Betty McCullum. Now, Betty and Rena have been around for a while, so let's support them and keep up the good work. And Tony Carter, of course. Get out there and vote. We're representing everyone today. The whole DFL party. Yeah, they're well represented today. They yes, had they quite are. the turnout. Quite the turnout. So we expect the same from the folks in the. Okay, Miss Birch. Take her away. Vian is here with two people, and they live close by. They say they just bought a house, and your name is? Renee Crow. And Clem Crow. And they've got their twins with them. And your name? Um, Talise. Talise, and she's a little shy today. But what brings you guys to Ronald today? Uh, just to support the neighborhood. See all the old friends and get a little something to eat. And you? Same here. Go every year. OK, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you, Vian. And here comes the DFL vehicle. Represented Mayor Carter, Melvin Carter, Rena Moran, Pelican, Aaron Smith. Murphy, Tony Carter, and of course, all the rest of the DFL parties that are up for election. You have election. plenty of choices to vote for. 15. And here's a group from Ally. You need a loan. They're the people to go to. Put your name on the paper <laughs> and qualify. Give me back. Yes. Give me back. <clears throat> you know, uh, if you want to learn some things about the uh, Rondo neighborhood, there's several books you can pick up on, like uh, Days of Rondo by Evelyn Fairbanks. There's the uh, Jimmy Griffin story with uh, Kwame McDonald, Jimmy Griffin, Sons of Rondo, and Memoirs is the name of the book. Uh, Culture Brookers Foundation Incorporated, book Point of Entry, African American Heritage and Guide to St. Paul. So there's several books you can pick up. Pick up. I can list some more, but we're going to get back to the parade here. And yeah, so sure make Head sure you make out. use of that. I'm sure you can get those books online, too. So check them out. Well, here comes the bus from Head Start. Head Start has been with this parade since day one. If you need your preschool kids to get a good pre-education, check out Head Start. So I have a question, gentlemen. At the uh, festival today, who is the main entertainment? Have you heard who's going to be playing up there this year? No, I know a couple of local youths, like Meta, Minnesota. One of my son's friends is going to be doing a, a rap show. There's going to be entertainment later. And uh, I'm told that there's a great lineup for that event. And for the jazz, I, I believe Debbie Duncan will be performing later today. Mm -hmm. But we'll check that out. I'll get a correction on that. Check it out. We'll, we'll pass it on later. A lot of great local talent. And coming up next, it's the Concordia University Golden Bears. Yep, the Golden Bears football team. They're in the rebuilding process right now, but they'll be competitive. But 
Concordia does have a national championship volleyball team. They've won like seven or eight titles in the last 10 years. So, you know, that school's well represented when it comes to sports. So they're developing well. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. Yeah, they have a name for, for themselves. I know the University of Minnesota won't play their volleyball team. Mm. So that's just enough. Speaks volumes. Okay, Ms. Birch, Vian, take her away, please. Lucky to find a historical person here. Tell me your name. My name is Crystal Pearl, maiden name Watts, and Mandurm. And look at her button, you guys. It says, I am Rondo. She's got history here. What brings you to Rondo every year? Uh, the beautiful people, the neighborhood, and I just love it. I was born on Rondo 84 years ago, and it's, it's been my life ever since. I love it. She loves it, and thank you for coming down and giving me the interview. Love her button. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Aunt Crystal. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> now, that, that's something you don't see a lot of. A lot of the uh, senior citizens, residents, residents that, that grew up here, who could tell you some stories from way back in the day. I'm talking like in the yeah. 30s and 40s. And there, there's so many of them that, that were the people that shaped and formed this neighborhood, you know. They migrated from other states and came here to Minnesota to set up the Rondo neighborhood. Yeah, because a lot, a lot of the, the young folks, they just think Rondo, they just think of a parade and a festival. But there's a lot more to that name than that. You know, it, it was established back in the day when uh, when our folk would come up here and they were, you know, put in a certain area. <laughs> so they made the most of it. You know, they opened up their businesses. It was a thriving community until the government decided to put that freeway in and just, you know, wreak havoc on a community and everyone's lives. But we'll talk about that later. Yeah. From the beginning, Rondo has been a haven for people of color and immigrants. Yep. His name came from Joseph Rondo, who moved here in the 1850s. What, Booker T barbecue? Oh, Booker T's, Booker T's. <laughs> I, couldn't think of, I couldn't think of Booker's the name. Oh, yeah. Yep. And as you're waiting for your ribs, you can get your pool game in. Right. <laughs> Booker T's was good for some local entertainment back in the day, too. They had great bands back then. So right now. And we have the Kappas. Fraternity. I wish I could tell you more, but it's a black fraternity that's been around forever. The Kappas. Yeah, right now they're doing a little Kappa stepping for you. Good to see those bodies in shape and moving around like that. Wish I could do that. <laughs> that doesn't look that hard. That's not, that's not, that's, that's not that hard. Come on. Not at all. Just a step and a clap. Step, step, now clap. <laughs> you need a, there you go, there's a clap. I was off by a beat or two. Central oh, yeah. Village Housing coming up right behind the steppers. Now, Central Village, wasn't that supposed to be like uh, back in the 70s? Right. An, uh, an answer or an appeasement to the people who were knocked off of Rondo and St. Anthony Avenue when they built that little community down there? Right. Affordable housing for yeah, yeah. people in the Rondo community. 
And then we got Central High School coming up behind them. Now that's a small house. <laughs> Very small. <laughs> but it's for sale. I can imagine what they want for it. <laughs> well, I guess the price would dictate where they plop it down at. Yeah. You put it up on Summit, they're going to get hundred. Location, <laughs> location, <laughs> location. <laughs> oh, yeah. You put it in your driveway if you got relatives coming to visit you from out of town, you, you know, and got, got a place for them to shack up at. Okay. It's a central tiny house. Now, I take it it was built at Central High School. Right, that's why I can't catch up with my Yep, that's a tiny house. For more information, go to www.centraltinyhouse.com. The Central Tiny House. Quick, somebody run down to Booker T's and get us a barbecue <laughs> right quick. If they can find it now. Rib dinner. It's a red beans and rice. Okay, that seemed to be a little technical. Well, difficult. well thank you. Well, okay, well, we're going we're gonna to look at the things we used to do in the old days. You know, I was just looking at it. We got Halle Q. Brown. We had Over Boys Club, Oxford yep. Playground. And what am I missing? The hollow. Okay. They, they used to go skate down in the hollow <laughs> before they put that big old high rise over there. Okay. And that's where the uh, Gopher Elks used to practice. We used, to, we used to go over there to Oxford, and, and uh, uh, we'd be over there playing hockey in the wintertime. Right, and which uh, was kind of like a black kids playing hockey. Well, that's what a lot of people say, but they're, they're really surprised, you know, to find out that we actually do. And, 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 and there were some good hockey players back in the day. Take it away. Take it. Take it, away, it is a great, grand, and glorious day today, and I'm with a special friend. We went to Scooter together. She's looking great in green. Tell me your name. Patience Robinson. So glad to be here again this year. I was here last year doing the same thing with my friend Vianna, and it's a great day out. Come out and enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Vianna. And here's Metropolitan State University. Just east of downtown off of 6th Street in Mounds Boulevard, Metro State University. Now back, you're talking about Stanley, about playing hockey down at Oxford. Yeah. In the uh, one room warming house. <laughs> one room warming oh, house. Oh yeah, that one room warming house, boy. Ooh, but it's a good thing it was there, because we can't. We were, take we're it ready, away. take it away, Vian. Vian Braddock Birch, and I'm here with Denise Glass. And what brings you to Rondo on this beautiful day? Friends, family, and fun. And that's all it can be on Rondo. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Vian. All right. It is a beautiful day today. But back to the things they used to do back here in the neighborhood before it was, uh, well, that was after the freeway was pretty much, you know, the damage was already done. <laughs> they were putting that artery through. And so a lot of people, they end up going to Oxford or down to the club or Halle Q. Brown. Oxford was where you played outdoor sports and the club in Halle Cube, you played basketball, pretty much. Yeah, Halle Cube that, that's how it was over. split up. So if you didn't have any basketball talent, you would go play baseball or skate or play football down at Oxford. But if you had hoop skills, you would go to the club or the Halle Q Brown. But we did have we did have that outdoor court at Oxford. We used to Oh yeah, oh, tear up our tennis shoes on all the time. Yeah. yeah, but then all the guys who worked for the railroad, the college boys would come in town, and they would take that over every night, pretty much. So it was uh, like our little ruck, rucker league we had back then <laughs> <laughs> down at Oxford. Baby ruckers. <laughs> <laughs> Half the talent, but it, it, was, it was fun. Yeah. So I got a question, fellas. No. Word has it that they're going to build a top over the freeway between Dell Street 
in Oxford Street, the Rondo Land Trust. What, what, what are your views on it? You have, you have anything to say about that? Well, well Taylor, I'll let you roll first. Okay. Uh, other communities are fired up about having it there, especially North Minneapolis. They want to be the venue for this bridge concept. But St. Paul neighborhoods really get a boost if they get it. They're, they're really pushing for it. You know, I can see them wanting it over north also, but that's a pretty wide strip of 94 over north. But over here, I, I can see it happening, but then again, I can't see it happening. Because this is going to be affordable housing. And what, what's my take on affordable housing? Mm. Well, I'm not, I'm not keen about it because, you know, I live right on the frontage road on St. Anthony. It's going to be right out in front of my house. So I'm not all that crazy about it because it, it's, you know, they're talking about shopping stores and housing, rental property and all. And they, what they call it, the bridge over the, bridge the freeway, fr bridge the neighborhood. Right. They were calling it, and they're talking about it being between Chasworth and Grotto. Oh, so see, I, I heard it's going to come up here to St. Albans. Yeah, well, that's well, as far as I got. That's right, another right, block well. over, so either way, you know. But, I mean, if you're talking about putting affordable rental property in there and everything else, what's it going to do to my house property? That's my concern. Well, we'll get back to that. Go ahead, Vian. Welcome back to the Rondo Day Parade. I'm beyond Braddock Birch, and I have with me another child. The children are so fun at Rondo. Tell me your name. Xavier. Xavier, what brings you to Rondo Day today? Friends and family and activities. What kind of festivities you like? Parade. The parade, and that's where we're at today. Thank you, Xavier. Thank you, Vianne. What we have here is the Star Wars group this Princess Leia. Uh, geez, help me out with the Star Wars thing in there. <laughs> I, a couple of I can the only Jedi's. Think of I don't see Chewbacca out there. No, there's a couple of Jedi's up front in front of Princess Leia. Okay. Oh, wait, this guy's not part of Star Wars. Is he? I, that's, I haven't that's, seen him. He's from Marvel, isn't he? Isn't that right. Loki or? Yeah, I think you got it. With Thor's brother. Oh, so they, they okay. got it mixed in there, but they're superheroes, I guess. Right. Yeah, but where's the Hulk and Spider-Man? Thor's brother, yeah. Loki. They're probably yeah. riding on the Halle Q. Brown bus, <laughs> chilling out. <laughs> we were just talking about the Halle Q. Brown well, community well, center. Well. And here's their vehicle. Yeah, Halle Q. Brown has been around forever. Forever. It started over on Aurora Avenue back in the day in that three-story brick building with the big gym with the concrete floor. <laughs> you floor. could even play <laughs> table tennis there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Miss Taylor was there was forever. Miss Taylor. Until they moved over here on, on, off of Marshall and Kent Street. And she's still part of the community, part of the raw uh, Halle Q. Brown community. The Halle Q. Brown. We got Vion. She's got another interview coming up. Take it away, Vion. Back at the Rondo Day Parade, I found someone that this is their first time at the Rondo Day Parade. Tell me your name. My name is Beverly Tipton Hammond. And what are you liking about the parade besides the weather? I'm liking the fact that this incredible neighborhood is being commemorated for its history, for its richness, for its wealth and for the diversity. I am new to the area, moved from Baltimore about two years ago, and I'm excited. So I walked, my husband and I walked the entire walk. So not only we're we getting our exercise, we're getting an education. Thank you, and welcome to Thank Minnesota. You Thank you. Thank you, Vian. Well, coming up next is the Mount Olivet Missionary Baptist Church. Another pillar of our community. Mount Olivet Missionary Baptist Church has been around for a while. That was the first church that I attended back when I was a youth. And it's been around for years, over 50 years. Yeah, it seemed like back in the day, most of the churches, well, the predominantly black churches, were all on Central Avenue. Yes. 
Mount Olivet Pilgrim Baptist, St. James, St. Peter Claver is just right off of uh, Central, Central. And, and Oxford. And there's another Christ Temple on Central and Chasworth. Right. And ladies and gentlemen, here they come to wreak havoc and put cork all over your faces. It's the Vulcan crew. All right, let's see. Right here. Oh, and before the Vulcans, we have From the GOP party. The SD65 GOP. <laughs> and of course, the Vulcans are making themselves heard. Now, at the Vulcans, I, I do believe we are going to have the entire Winter Carnival party with us coming up behind them. They usually do every year. <laughs> Kissing Bandit, <laughs> King Boris. Well, right now, we just have the Klondike Cake Clan. Okay. And the Vulcans. So I'm wondering where the rest of the uh, royal party's at because I really did think they'd all be together. Yeah, it's the Vulcan Yeah, they usually crew. Uh, follow one another. Yeah, they're usually all together. Yeah, one tries to upstage the other. There's Greg Ryan for U.S. Congress. Ryanforus.com. U.S. Congress. And a list of their Republican candidates for 2018. Greg Ryan, I haven't heard him speak yet, so I, I really can't say I, I'll be on board with him, but I'll be checking everybody out. Well, yeah. we well he's proud our, to be an American. We, we got to get our best people in there, some real Americans that believe in the American way of life. And uh, there's the Boca. When did the Boca crew start having women out there? Well, that's one of the princesses because, like I said, I think everybody is in this group here. I don't yeah, think they're going to have the other... The other vehicles uh, uh, okay, this year. Okay, usually. Uh, okay, all sure, right. There's, there's the, uh, yeah. the royal court walking behind them. Oh, all right. So uh, they settled their differences and came together this yeah, year. They went, huh? They're going with the short version this oh, year. Okay, I guess. okay. Maybe the price of gas is too much. Oh, could be. Now I saw the Klondike Kates this morning. They were up at Central High School in the parking lot getting ready. Taking pictures and singing songs. Klondike, Klondike Kates. Klondike Kates. They I love run, to sing. All right, give them a big hand, <laughs> y'all. Give them a big hand. I run into them every year over at the Minneapolis Convention Center, but I haven't seen them over there this year yet. Please give a warm Rondo Day welcome to your reigning Klondike Kates. Give that wild man a ticket down there. Klondike cake. Now, I wonder what the uh, qualifications are to be Klondike cake. A uh, voluptuous woman, you can sing? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, they have to sing their way into that title. Okay. We got it. There goes the Klondike cake. And coming up real soon here. The well, Alpha yeah, about Phi a half Alpha. Hour, yeah, yeah the, about a half hour they'll be here. Well, Vion got someone she wants to talk to. Go ahead, Vion. Let's uh, go down to V. I believe she has somebody for us right now. Take it away. Vion back at the Ronald Day Parade. And like I said, the kids are just so special. And look at how pretty she is today. Tell me your name. My name's Denise. And Denise is coming to Ronald Day Parade today. Why? Because um, I just love to celebrate the holidays. Now, isn't that nice? Well, I hope you have a good time today. You look awful cute. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Vian. Like I said, coming up very shortly, the Alpha Phi Alpha. You know, my, my grandson was in from uh, 
Dallas a couple weeks ago, and I was able to tell him the story about Tiger Jack. Oh, yes. You know, and I took him by, you know, Tiger, Tiger Jack's uh, corner there and showed him where the shack was, you know, and we talked about the uh, Minnesota Museum of History where the shack's located at. Mm -hmm. Long time Minnesota. Oh, it's, yeah. yeah. And, uh, I took him over on Central and showed him the row houses we all lived in. Right. And uh, the the area and everything, you know. And he's just, you know, he, he just loved getting the history of the Rondo neighborhood while he was here. Long time icon, Tiger Jack Rosenblum. The, f the flats on Central, huh? Yeah. Those were nice. Those were nice builds. It's too bad they tore them down. Right. They, them things could have been re rehab. Go ahead. Back at the Rondo Day Parade, special friend with me. Your name is? Hi, I'm Dana Abrams. I'm with St. Paul Public Schools and also a product of the Rondo community. And what brings you besides being a product of the Rondo community to the parade for how many years? Oh, I'm in my 35th year coming to Rondo Days. And it's all about community and family. And it's something that I value and that I, I know our community values. So it's that time of year we can come back and connect with folks we haven't seen for a long time have a good time, eat some good food, and just enjoy each other. And that's a blessing. Thank you, Dana. Thank enjoy you. the parade in the day. Thanks, I will. All right. All right. Look at this big gap. Is it over? Who you with, baby? And people are not even wanting to have it. Okay, that was the Alpha Phi Alpha. And this is the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Senior Royal court. court, senior, senior court. court. Oh, so they did show up. Yeah. The weather was nice enough for everyone to show well, up. Well, since this is a senior court, that meant the younger ones ran off and left them. Oh, okay. <laughs> they are representing, though. St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Court. But uh, la last summer, uh, when my grandkids were up from Houston, I took them downtown to the uh, depot, which my dad was a conductor on the trains back then, not a porter, I mean. And I uh, took them into the depot, showed them all around, talked to them about it, and then put them on the light rail, which now runs right on the outskirts right. of the old Rondo neighborhood. So that was, a, that was a pretty big thrill for the youngsters, you know. Well, that depot's impressive inside, you know. Yeah. They, they fixed it up. Yeah. It's, it's nice looking in there. But the thing is, you know, when I was uh, when I was about two years old, they cut off the the uh, trolley system, so I never got to ride a trolley here. Mm. But since they sold a bunch of the trolleys to San Francisco, it, when I was growing up, I said, you know, I'm gonna go to Frisco and ride the trolleys. And then uh, what was it, 90, 91, 1991, I went to San Francisco and rode up and down on those trolleys. Yeah. It's kind of scary though when they're going up that hill when he puts uh, that yeah, thing in yeah. gear. And it's like at a 45 degree in, in, inclines, like, yeah. oh my God. Okay, Vian, are you ready? Take her away. Special, special treat. Look at these young brothers I have with me today. Your name is? Uh, Clifton Lovelloy. And your name is? Dustin Land. And Dustin, tell me about the fraternity. Yep, so we are the Pi Eta chapter of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, founded in 1914, and our principles are brotherhood, scholarship, and service. And what brings you to Rondo this year? Um, this year, just to come out and see the smiling faces. It's always nice to see a community come together. Is this your first year? No, I did it when I was younger, and I was in drumline, but... Um, are you from Minnesota? No, originally I'm from Chicago, but I grew up here. Are you from Minnesota? Yep, I'm from St. Paul, Minnesota, been to Rondo. I'm 21, been to Rondo days every year of my life, so been in this community my entire life. Special treat and they got on my favorite color. Thanks guys. All right. Thank you. I think red's a little better from Central. But oh, thank you, oh, B. Oh. <laughs> I like the blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh mechanic you know, mechanic guys a lot. But you know, here. since they cut out did 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 uh Bernard, did you ever get to ride on the trolley? I, I rode on the trolley. I was fortunate. Don't remember much about it, but I uh -huh. did. Yeah, I, I think they stopped it like in '56. They right. Used, when they pulled them off off the streets. Yeah, we were talking about the flats on Central. You could see the remnants of the trolley cars. They had the come down cobblestone there, yeah. streets and the rails still there. Yeah, that the brick the brick street's still there. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. And yeah, I, we used I, to live in the flats, so. 
I'm very, very mindful of it. Well, not, what about that trolley out of Frisco? We went over that big old giant hill, and you're just, you're just looking down that hill at the bay, and you're just well, like, right. ooh, I hope the brakes work. <laughs> Thank you, because all this is a handbrake. Got that little right. handbrake hand up there. The handbrake. <laughs> Yeah, if yeah, that didn't hold, <laughs> you were gone. Speaking of that, that, that brick street, though, how come it only went through that one one block and then it started again at Lexington going to central up the hill? Right, the, right. You mean the cobblestone? The cobblestone. Yeah. They just went over the top of it. They paved over it. Mm -hmm. Some of it they took up and some of it they just caved, paved over it. Well, on that tidbit, we'll be right, back to the parade. How you doing? Go down there, come on. Down. Okay, Vian, are you ready for the interview? Day parade, and one thing I like is family. It's all about family, and right now I have the cutest family. Tell me your name. Greg. Dorothy. And the kids? And the baby's name? Driana. Well, this is one family that I'm enjoying, but they're going to tell me what they think is so special about Rondo that brings them here today. Well, this is our one-year-old. She's about to be two, and this is her first year coming to Rondo Days. So we decided we wanted to bring her to the parade. And that's a good reason to come. Thank you, guys. All right. All right, we're going to be entertained by Crucial Creation from Gary, Indiana. from Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana. Did a great job. Love the youth when they entertain. Up next, uh, mentoring a young adults. And followed by them will be Pilgrim Baptist Church. We love the mentoring program. We love young adults and what they do for the young adults. So we're real grateful for any mentoring of these young adults nowadays. Yeah, they need all the help they can get. Yes, they do. Pilgrim Baptist Missionary Church, the Vacation Bible School group are following the mentoring young adults. <laughs> he says I'm doing the chicken. <laughs> Jennifer and the wind more. Committee for Jennifer Winmore, and they're being followed by the CSL Plasma Center.
All right. Claudia Ripper. CSL Plasma Centers, they're good for you and they're good for life. We got Cassandra Revering for judge. Jennifer Wynn Moore. Oh, Jennifer Wynn Moore, all right. And she's running for a Ramsey County Commissioner. CLS Plasma. Moore. Okay, Vian, are you ready for your interview? This is Vian Braddock Birch, and here's her interview. Take it away, Vian. Back at the Rondo Day Parade, it's uh, starting to get a little cloudy, but everybody's still out in good spirits. It's family, food, and friends. And a special treat for me, my niece is in town from Chicago for Rondo. Tell me your name. Janae. And Janae, are you loving it so far? This is your first Absolutely. time? Absolutely. It's a good it's time. It's great. It's so warm and inviting. Community, family, fellowship. Absolutely marvelous. And we have, tell me your name. Olivia. Olivia. Olivia, my great niece, and she's having a good time. Thanks, boo. Have a good time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Vian. We got the Science Museum of Minnesota, AMFM Babies Coalition. They're in the purple right there. Give them a big wave. Minnesota Science Museum. Followed by Tim Waltz for governor. He's got a big bright yellow campaign going on there. It Fall. can't miss him. Yeah, they're, they're playing, uh, showing their Viking colors. Yeah. Good work, Waltz. <laughs> Surprise! The Cadillac isn't purple. <laughs> yeah, that's all they need right now. With Vikings horns on the hood. <laughs> <laughs> when we were in Texas, he puts the horns on right. the hood. <laughs> okay, remember, get out and vote. Watts Flanagan. Got the rig, the fire rig, and everything. Here, Walsh is coming out style today. All right, FedEx truck coming up behind that fire engine, bright red fire engine. Okay, Waltz. <laughs> it's Waltz Flanagan up here politicking. Major campaigning. After you get your eye full of the FedEx truck, we got Design Temple. So what is Waltz running for governor? Yes, sir. All right. Waltz Flanagan, y'all. All right. Take it away, Vion. Rondo Day is so special today, and one thing about it is the Young Brothers. With me today, I have... Ken Jay. Say it again. Ken Jay. Ken Jay. What brings you to Rondo today? Uh, I come every year. Um, I brought my son and his mother out for the first time. This is an uh, enjoyable event. There's a lot of history here. Everybody came out. What are you going to eat? Oh, we're about to go eat after this. Okay. We are hungry. Well, thank you for the interview. Thank you. Thank you, Vian. That makes two of us. I'm getting hungry too, Joe. Now coming up <laughs> behind the uh, FedEx truck, we got the Faison Tempo rolling through. And we got a lot of nice old cars coming down the road, and I wouldn't mind yeah, getting a ride on that old beauties. Willis Jeep over there. Oh, they like the Chevrolets. Like today. They got the Chevrolets out today. I I'm loving it. You know, usually they do have a lot of nice older cars. Got a Pontiac bringing crew. up the rear, so. That's Catalina, isn't it? Uh, 
might be a Bonneville. No, oh, okay. Or a Cutlass. What's that? Okay. All right. Faison Temple from Minneapolis. There's nice. Uh, Putting on a nice car show for you. Chevy. Even a Jeep. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they're riding in style. Yeah, I like that nice white, what is it, 57 Chevy? 57 Chevy. Chevy. Mm -hmm. Which one? Oh, this one here, 57? Yeah. I, I, I'm admiring the 60 Pontiac coming up in the rear, though. I really like that one. You got two 57 Chevs. I think that's a 58. What was it? One, I think. One no, no, 58 had. I'm saying if it's a 50, Chevy or Pontiac. 58 didn't have the. Uh, the fin. Well, in the so back. If it's a Chevy, it was it's more 59. 58, 58 was more rounded off. Which one is that? They're both 57. Yeah, both of those are 57. They're 57. They're 57 they're 50, 58 was the first year of the dual headlights. Oh, okay. Take it away. Back at the Rondell Day Parade, like I said, kids are everything I have with me now. Enjoying the parade? Yeah. What's your name? Cameron. Cameron, I love it. What brings you to Rondo today? Um, just like hang out with family and stuff. And I better interview this young lady because she's antsy. Tell me your name, cutie. Sire. Sire, what brought you to Rondo today? My dad. Your dad? No fun? What are you going to eat? A uh, hot dog. What? A hot, dog. a hot dog. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for the interview. Thank you, Vian. Good job, as usual. And as the kids run off to get their hot dogs. <laughs> I think it's so a Bonneville. All the that Pontiac? Oh, yeah. Catalina. Catalina. Yeah, it was a Catalina. Yep, Catalina. 1960. Zurov Pheasant Temple for Minneapolis. <laughs> Got the duels on there and everything showing off. <laughs> All right, up next, Jeffrey Martin for District Court Judge. They're sporting their Denver Bronco colors, blue and orange. Jeffrey Martin. There's Jeffrey running around. Shaking hands. Judge Jeffrey Martin. We got Butterfly for Life Carrington Cares representing the next phase of this parade. Yeah, they're a great campaign to support breast cancer and other cancers, fighting cancers. The Carrington Cares. <laughs> Following Carrington Foundation is Truian for U.S. Senate. Vian, are you ready for your interview? Take it away, Vian. Uh, we got, we got Truett and then the green card. There goes uh, Tru Truett. Group from Gary earlier, and guess where they're from? Tell me your name. Hi, I'm Reniqua, and I'm from Gary. Hi, I'm Trelawney Wilson, and I'm from Gary, Indiana. And what brought you besides your drum and bugle corps to Minnesota for the Rondo Day Parade? Um, we came down here for a visit for our family. Yeah, I came down here for my mom's birthday and everything, to celebrate uh, her birthday weekend and to have a good time. Birthday, 
Happy yes. birthday, Mom. And, we, and they had good weather here while they're there. Represent Minnesota. <laughs> Thank Having you. a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, Vian. Now we have representing Hello, Minnesota Truian for U.S. Senate. And his sign says he's independent, like you. Jerry Truian. So where is he? I haven't seen him yet. Where is he at? Is that him in the blue? Yeah, that's him. That's him in the blue. Give a wave, Truian. Jerry, over All here. Right. And he's being followed by the Green Party. We have the Green Party of St. Paul. Green Party of Minnesota. Oh, yeah, it is of Minnesota. They need to change the sign. Take it away. Be honest with a real special person. Oh, this woman is everything. Tell me your name. Alana Wright Carrington. And Carrington, does that ring a bell? Tell me about Carrington. Carrington Cares Foundation. So we've been in existence about since 2013. I am a 10-year survivor. Amen. Uh, amen. Amen. February 5th, I celebrated 10 years. So we're out here in support of um, breast cancer awareness with Butterflies for Life. Thank you. And we support. I love coming to our event every year. Yes. Thank you. This year, our event, I will be our speaker for the evening. Amen. And we got uh, some special entertainment coming. So come out October 14th, 3 o'clock, Ideal Hall. Thank you, and we'll support her in anything for the cancer awareness. Thank you. All right, thank thank you, Vianna, that one. And coming past, we have Flaherty for the uh, what is for it, judge. county judge? Flaherty for Flaherty's judge. county judge. And just a just just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, the Sterling Club will be celebrating their 100th anniversary next year, come September. So we will be having a. A big dinner and a big function to celebrate our existence. You know, it couldn't have been done without the hard work of the members and members' families over the last 100 years. Also, registration for all these candidates, you see, you can register to vote here at the Sterling Club. Thank you very much. All right, back to the parade. A few more Flaherty for Judge backers coming up. <coughs> There's quite a few Flaherty people there. Quite yeah, a few, all the way down into the, the next block. All right, let's go with the interview. Down to Vian. Special, special person. She's been watching me do the interviews. Now she's going to speak. Tell me your name. My name is Vicki Sanders. And Vicki Sanders, what brings you to the Rondell Day festivities today? I've been coming it for 25 years. It's fantastic. It's, uh, it's fun. And to miss it, you are definitely missing out on something. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What are you going to eat today? Uh, definitely ribs and probably some fried chicken. And if I have some room, I'll see what else is out there. All right, thank you. Have a good day. All right, thank you, Vian. Coming up now. Now these still are, it's the Flaherty group still, isn't it? No, this is a Bible group coming up to here. Uh, I still see uh, Flaherty back Truth up and there Life Christian out. Center. The Truth and Life Christian Center coming through right now. All right, we have the Truth and Life Christian Center in Minneapolis and St. Paul. That's the Parodial Academy. That's the Parodial Academy. 
paving the pathway to college. And they're led by Mr. Johnny C9. Johnny C9. <laughs> Proville Academy of St. Paul. Paving your way to college. Further in that education, nothing wrong with that. See, they're well represented. Yes, sir. I wonder what grades they're they focus on. First through one through eight or one through twelve. It must be Happy Day, middle school because they're preparing for college. All right. Through high school. Like you said, they're well represented. <laughs> so let me ask you gentlemen a question. What stands out in your memories of the old Rondo neighborhood before and after the freeway was put in? Well, before the freeway, of course, the community centers, Rondo, Halle Q. Brown, Overboys Club, all those community centers that really kept us off the street and doing the right thing. The places we could go to. The places we could go to. <laughs> then after that, after they dug out the freeway and made a big dirt hole, I had to run from <laughs> the local families throwing them dirt bombs. <laughs> oh, yeah, because oh, if you went across the freeway, right, they throw rocks the, at you. You have to run back on this side. You threw, lived on the wrong oh, side yeah. of the highway. <laughs> you had to watch for the dirt balls. <laughs> and then at night, it was kind of wild up there by, by Russell's and all those little joints. Square deal. Square deal liquor. Mm -hmm. And the Piggly Wiggly. Coming up, we have the Wilder Foundation. That's been a pillar in the community for quite some time, for many years. Yeah, they have a couple establishments here in the neighborhood. Right over here on Marshall and on Lexington. Correct. In Aurora. The Wilder Foundation. I see something on the horizon, but could you guys tell me what that the is? The big yellow truck? The big yellow truck. <laughs> I'm waiting myself. <laughs> Looks interesting. No, I don't know what that is, but it's a different kind of vehicle. It's a different vehicle. Two rigs. <laughs> we'll see in a minute. If they can turn the corner. Because. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go right ahead, Vian. Vian Braddock Birchbeck at the Rondo Day Parade. And check out our shirts this year. I didn't get to show you. I like these shirts. And I am with Shayla Johnson. And Shayla is a part of the Rondo committee. What do you like about Rondo? Um. I like seeing everybody, that everybody comes out. This is like a one time a year, you get to see like everybody. And it's not a funeral or something. Amen. <laughs> you know? Amen. So, yeah, that's probably my favorite part. And the food, the food, at the, that's really She that's loves the thing. food. I think you got the idea. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Miss Shayla. Right, <laughs> and thank you. In the car alone, we have uh, Green Central Elementary School DA celebrates. All right. For Green, Green Central Elementary School. Okay, Vian, take it away. Vian Braddock Birch back with a real special treat. First of all, we grew up on this block. Tell me who you are. Johnny Price, Johnny Babies. 
What brings you every year to Rondo that's so special? Well, my family, uh, back dating back to my great grandparents, uh, were lived on Rondo. My grandfather lived on Rondo. My parent, my mother lived on Rondo. So uh, I've got a long history with Rondo and just this community in general. And it's so special to both of us. Yes, Thank you, Johnny. You're welcome. Good to see you, sweetheart. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Vian. Johnny, baby. Pillar of the community. All right. We have DA celebrities. Yeah, with, uh, with uh, Green Central Elementary School, it says we have the DA tumbling team, dance and tumbling team. All right, let's, let's, let's watch it tumble. A little entertainment for you. I was waiting for them to start talking. <laughs> they fake me out with their footwork. Okay, DA celebrities, dance and tumbling team. Future dancers and athletics. Always good to see the youth out there. And we finally discover what the yellow truck is. St. Paul Public Works. There's three trucks in that progression. Yellow, blue and I believe black. We'll wait for the tumblers to go by. Yeah, I thought they were gonna start tumbling. I was hoping to see some. Some multi. acrobatics. Yeah, I, don't yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know if I tumble with those glasses Tri on. Triple flips. Yeah, he has a Darth Vader mask on. Maybe that's got something to do with no tumbling. Great youth entertainment by the tumblers. Fancy footwork. You got the little b-boy on the ground there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's breaking it down. Break dance. All right. All right. DA celebrity. Great performance. Here it comes. Here comes St. Paul Public Works Exhibition. Okay, we're gonna finish the tumblers. DA celebrities. DA Celebrity Tumbling Team. Now, that's a water truck. We were sitting here wondering what that thing was. Yeah, I told you. All right. St. Paul Public Works. <laughs> Adam Young for. Look at that thing. County Judge.
Yeah, give me a little street cleaning by the Department of Public Works for you. Now, I wonder how old that thing is, or if that's just a replica of something they had back in the day. It's shooting water uh, out. I, so. see a, I see a bicycle <laughs> chain pulling them wheels. I think yeah, that's the real uh, deal. Yeah, look at that thing. That's a real deal. And we got Adam Yang for Ramsey County Judge coming up behind the Public Works. Coming to that end of the Rondell Day Parade, special treat with me. Tell me your name. Asha Anderson. And Ashta Anderson, what brings you to Rondo today? Rondo has been a staple in the community since I was a little girl, being able to bring my, ch my child here and let him experience some of the experience that I've experienced. Also, the community coming together for things other than what's going wrong. So it's, it's a good celebration. It's a great celebration, and I'm glad you came. Come next year. I'll be Thank here. you. Yang for... County, County Judge. judge. <laughs> a lot of judge candidates here today. I wonder how many seats they fill. And behind him, the IBEW, number one, local 110. Well, there's plenty of judges to go around. There's only several of them that have to be voted in the office. Some of them are just appointed. So. Oh, okay. The ones we see in the parade are the ones that have to gather some votes. When you go to vote and you're looking at that ballot and you say, who's Who? this? That's them. Okay. Okay. That's Adam Young in the group. So <laughs> Adam Yang. Get a Adam good look Yang. at him, folks. You may be facing him one day. And we got the ABEW10. Yeah, International Brother of Electrical Workers. Local 110. So if you need electrical work done in your house, make sure you got a licensed electrician. <laughs> All right, beyond another interview. Take it away. And as a senior myself, the seniors are always a major part of the Rondo Day festivities. And so I found a senior. Tell me your name. Marsha Dawson. Marsha Lawson, what brings you to Rondo today? To come out to have some fun. And if you could see, this woman has the most beautiful eyes. Uh, thank, you. thank you for the interview. Okay. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Thank you, Vian. Thank uh, you, Vian. Now that's that thing making all that noise. Yeah. Wonder how fast it is. The IBEW motor car. And behind him, we have G. Egan for judge, another county judge. If you can hear him, they're making enough noise <laughs> with this drag racing. That's that formula car. Got the big 110 logo on. Maybe you should have it. St. Paul Fire Department here to fire up their horns and drown them out. There's enough of oh, them. That, that would just be too loud. Yeah, that would drown me out too. All right, G. Egan for judge. All right, there's another judicial candidate for judge. That must be the, Mr. Egan is behind the uh, SUV. And we have the St. Paul Fire Department. They are well represented today. 
Very well represented. And there's Jerome in the lead car driving, taking it easy. One of the hook and ladders. <laughs> oh, oh, did he make it up here? Almost. <laughs> a little to the right. A little to the time. right. One more time, gentlemen. A little to the right. Oh. Tree's going to. Oh, it got up there. It made it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. We are both going for the same Tip ball. ball yep. <laughs> Look at the Twins game. <laughs> All right. St. Paul, Paul Fire Department being well represented. Hey, wait a minute. I know that guy in the fire department right there driving yeah. the truck. I know that a looks couple like of those guys. Yeah, I know a couple of those guys, too. You know, last year they had one of those uh, water patrol rescue boats oh, out here. Oh, okay, yeah. It's like that would have been uh, cool to air see. Boats. Yeah, I thought maybe they'd have it again this year, but it, maybe it's in use. The little pontoon one, huh? St. Paul Fire, Medic Rig 60. No, no, it's uh. Here comes the Minneapolis Fire Department. They can't. They want to be outdone by the St. Paul Fire Department. Yeah, we have to represent Minneapolis too. Coming up behind the fire department, we have St. Paul Public Schools. Okay. Minneapolis Fire Department. They make their annual trek over here for our parade every year. That is. All right, St. Paul Public Schools with Maxwell School. St. Paul Public Schools. Can't forget our public schools. Turn our youth into young men and women. Well, you know what's coming up next? The entourage from KMOJ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get some music in. Look at, the, look at this lead car, Mach 1. <laughs> uh -huh. Mach 1 security service, huh? I guess they're getting their plug in there with KMOJ. You gotta get that oh. plug in. <laughs> You know, you're saying a Mark 1. I'm looking for an old Ford Mustang. Okay, Bernard, tell me one thing you love about St. Paul Public Schools. I made it through. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> well, actually, I was prepared for public schools because I went to a Catholic school for seven okay. years. Okay. And, you know. They made you learn there. Yeah, so. it was a necessity. <laughs> <laughs> Mach 1 security systems. Okay. KMOJ security. Well, actually, that's March 1 security. March that's 1. Oh, 
Oh, March one. Yeah, yeah. March one. We said you know, if I knew March how to read. That's it. Well, you yeah, put way over there. It looked like March. Well, you know, but, I, I'll practice reading for next year. St. Paul Public Schools. <laughs> we represent it right here. Well, there. So what, what I loved about public school is they taught me how to read. Yes, indeed. So it's what they do, and they do it well. Now, who's the on there talent from KMOJ this year? You know, do we know? Is it Q Bear or Ray Richardson or who? Probably both. Okay, we'll find out soon. Yep. I really can't see from over here. Hey. The People right. Station. The People Station. Exactly. St. Paul. That's right. That's right. Talk about binary personality. Well, it's not Cuba or Ray Richardson. Somebody new this year. Somebody new. They always got new, fresh talent. Oh, oh where's Cuba? Where's Cuba? Where's Cuba? Well, there's just Freddie Bell. From the yeah. morning show. They got a couple of the regulars going here. Oh. Try to say something, Freddie Bear. Say something. Yeah. Right. All right. Cam OJ always entertaining. Well, we got the unknown MC out here in the street. No. <laughs> yeah. Now, who is that? I don't know. But they always represent well. All right. That's yeah. KMOJ with the morning Bell. team of Chantel Singh and Freddie Bell. And Q Bear is hiding out somewhere out there in the crowd. Right. Got the youth making moves. Well, gentlemen, the clock on the wall says the parade is almost over with. Pretty I mean, soon. It's festival time and time to move over to the park yeah, yeah. and sample some of that good eating it's, over there. It's, it's time to go, you know. Get your grub on over at the festival. Oh, yeah. I vote for child time. Okay. There's other parts, other what? facilities that take part in, other entertainment, food. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed our parade this year. The 2018 35th Annual Rondo Day Parade. And as we wind down the 35th anniversary of this parade, Let's everybody join us over at the park and let's have a good time, good celebrating, good fun, good food. And be safe. Be safe and enjoy the weather today. That's it right. Really cooperative. Respect one another and, and have a good time. That way we can guarantee that we will see you again this time, the third Saturday of July next year. On a nice, beautiful summer day here in the beautiful saintly city of St. Paul, 
Minnesota. <laughs> Focus on having a good time today. Uh, Take one and off for being with us. Go ahead, Vian. And wrapping up the 35th annual Rondell Day Parade, I really got a special treat to my last interview. Tell me your name and what you're all about for Rondo. Adrian Beecham, and I'm the parade director. The parade director. So, you've done a good job? Yes. I thought so. I enjoyed the parade today. What are you going to go eat? Um, I want to go get some catfish and some ribs, probably. Okay, that sounds good. But a lot of discredit today goes to this beautiful woman right here. We want to thank her for all she does, and she does it well. I'm Vian Braddock Birch signing off for the 35th annual Rondo Day Parade, and it was a beautiful day. Thank you, Vian and Miss Beecham. And well, thank you for putting on a wonderful parade for us. Great parade. Yeah, thank you very much. But once again, uh, I'd like to thank everyone who put this, helped out put this thing together, the SPNN crew, all the cameramen, the people behind the scenes. Y'all did a great job. And on behalf of Stanley Felix, Fala Birch, this is Bernard Foster. We hope to see you again next year. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we're signing off. Good Peace. night, everybody. Have Good fun, night. everybody. Enjoy the day. Enjoy the day. Have fun.